Hi guys. Today in the little down and dirty woods craft, we're going to talk about a little skill thing that you can do. Now, as some of you know, at one point, I taught Boy Scouts how to do archery, primitive archery. I never got into that where you got all those sights and everything else on it. I just simply made an old hickory bow and went like that. Well, in the process of doing that, you want to learn how to make arrows because arrows are your biggest investment in time. Now, for making a bow, a bow is very simple and easy if you don't want to invest a lot of money and you don't care about the quality initially because I want to learn how to do this. Well, what I recommend you do is you go to a site on YouTube called Backyard Bower. Now, the gentleman that did that site and still does it, he was out of Hawaii, and he showed you how to take PVC pipe and make a bow. And they can be actually pretty good bows, especially for learning and teaching. Now, what it says on the pipe will tell you how strong that bow is going to be. So if it's a Schedule 20, it's a very light kid's bow. A 40 is a pretty good little target bow. A 60 or an 80 can be an actual hunting bow because it'll generate enough power. But you want to get a bow and you want to start out and learn the skill. Well, that's a great way to do it because you can make a bow very cheaply. All you need is a section of pipe, an oven mitt, and a eye of a stove to heat the PVC pipe up and squeeze it flat and shape it. And he goes step by step showing you how to do that. It's a great place to go learn how to make a bow. But for today's tip and trick, sorry about the wind, it's going to be how to make you some practice arrows. Now one of my favorite ways to teach bow and arrow and the way I learned to do bow and arrow was what was called stump shooting. I'm an instinctive shooter. I was not a target shooter. I was interested in learning a way to hunt. And so very often when you encounter game at, uh, in the wild, they're not at a given distance. You gotta be able to judge distance on the fly very quickly because you often have just seconds before the animal's gone and you're not gonna get your shot. So a favorite pastime to teach that was called stump shooting. We would simply make ourselves up a supply of arrows. And my favorite way to do arrow fletchings in this state in this beginning stage is with orange duct tape because you can see them very easily. I would take wooden dowels or I'd find some nice straight sticks and I'd create my arrow so it would have a uh, fletching back here that was a orange bit of duct tape to see. But the head, what are you going to use for the head? Empty 38 special brass works good as a blunt tip to wiggle up, whittle it a little bit, add a little drop of super glue, and create a blunt, fat, flat end. Now that tip can be used in hunting as well for shooting small game such as squirrels, small rabbits, stuff like that, because the blunt impact does the damage. And you don't really want a pointed arrow, it just goes through them. So I want to hit them, thump, and that'll do the damage and take care of them. So it can also be used for small game hunting. But it's great for going along and saying, okay, how far is that pine cone? Shoot the pine cone. Pick up your arrow. Uh, that stump. Shunk. That knot on that tree. Shunk. And you do a woods walk and you can pick out random targets at various ranges. That's how you learn to stump shoot. And that's how I learned to be a reaction shooter to hunt small game and things like that because quite often I would just simply walk with an arrow knocked, you know, easing along, and when I'd see it, I could draw and go, and not have to worry about how far is the range, what pen am I supposed to be using. That's good when you're doing out of a deer stand, and you're hunting deer, and you've already figured out that tree's at 25 yards and whatever, and I understand that. Uh, I've got friends that really go that way. That's their way of, of hunting, and they're very successful at it. But I was a down and dirty hunter. I was a reaction hunter. Whereas like that was it and you had about that long to take a shot. And so you had to be set up for instinctive shooting. And stump shooting was the way to learn that. Like I said, a 38 special put onto the end of a straight dowel. You can buy them at the hardware store to make your arrows out of. The knock on the other end can simply be a notch or you can go actually go get tips and put them on the end. 
and then for cheap fletchings I just used duct tape and that made a blunt arrow that I could practice with. Hope this gives you some ideas guys. If you liked it please hit the like, share, and subscribe button for me. I'd appreciate it. Until next time I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day guys.